Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. Hello there guys, my name is Ken Shadogster Born Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom discussion video. This is a massive video because today we're going to be talking about Colossus at Thought Park. Now you guys might not know what this is, those of you who are not proper theme park enthusiasts. However, we're going to be going through all those history and details uh, about Colossus and then I'm going to share my prediction on what I could see replace Colossus. Um, but for those of you in the theme park enthusiast community who know about Colossus at Thought Park, will know all about this ride. You know, it replaced the old Trapper's Trail playground. Um, it was a very really good thrilling coaster for the day uh, you know it was one of the major signature attractions that took Thorpe Park from the family days into the thrill park that we um, you know recognize it sort of <laughs> it's obviously a mix now but um, you know it was during the thrill park days when we got that Colossus investment and you know it was really one of the one of the signature attractions that made Thorpe Park the thrilling park and you know led them into a brand new era so it is quite a staple attraction for its day but i think with other new additions in the park other additions around the rest of the uk europe you know that have taken these sort of records of all well, the record of colossus you know uh world's first 10 looping coaster obviously it's now not uh obviously it's now not well it's technically is the world's first but it's not the first one in the world now um but it's not got the inversion record anymore obviously that and a coaster in china had the record with 10 uh that's now been taken by the smiler in 2013 from alton towers from the sister park um so colossus really is losing its it's it's losing its history should we say not really it's not really sort of losing its memoir i think it's still keeping that um you know colossus will always be the first 10 looping coaster and it will be the most loops on a roller coaster up until 2013 it will still have that that sort of heritage about it but it's sort of it's not as popular in my opinion as other rides in the park and also other rides in the uk and it needs to keep up with the competition thought park especially if they want uh, some new investments um so i think people have always said colossus could be on the chopping block in 10 15 years time uh, so in this video we're actually going to look at a couple of replacement options for what i could see on the colossus site now before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more discussion videos like this. Click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer uh, to 2,100 subs. We're about 14, 13 away from 2,100 now, which is brilliant. Um, so we're getting closer and closer to being halfway to 3,000 subscribers already. Uh, in the first month of the year, which in the first few days of 2021, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys so much for that. Let's keep that going. Keep watching the old videos as well. Uh, we're getting closer and closer every single day to 600,000 views overall, which means we're getting closer every day to 1 million overall views, which is fantastic. To, to say that we don't do, you know, vlogs isn't the main thing on this channel. It's news updates, it's discussion videos, prediction videos. That's the main part of this. And me showing myself as a person talking about my passion, which is theme parks. So, you know, for that kind of channel to get these kind of numbers is unexpected and I'm amazed by by it so thank you very much for, for all that um stay tuned for more exciting videos hopefully we've got a coast child chat hopefully by around end of january start of february fingers crossed um if all goes to plan and you know we've got some other great videos coming up but there is other ways you can stay subscribed to coast child youtube channel not just through the youtube because if you look in the description down below you'll find links to twitter TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, can be part of the Corsa Chow fan base. Um, you can be a part of the action. You can be part of the potential live reaction videos or live videos, one question go videos I might decide to do with you guys. So if you want to be part of that and be part of the discussions, then get into the Discord server and let's get this going. Also, guys, if you want to submit your own video ideas, if you've got any discussion videos you want me to do, any prediction videos you want me to do, any debating videos you want me to do on theme parks, get it in the Google Forms link. Link's in the description down below. And until the 7th of January 2021, 
If you go into the community page on YouTube, you'll find a, a post with a link to the ATU Awards. I've been voted for fa favorite theme park enthusiast and favorite enthusiast to post good content throughout, which is unbelievable. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for short nominating me, and now it's the main nominations. Only a couple of days left. Get in the 7th of January, get them in before the 7th of January, get into the voting uh, link in the community page on that post. You'll find it on the community page somewhere and, you know, it'd be really great to win two awards at the start of the year. And for now, guys, after all of that, let's have a look exactly what's going on with Colossus. Let's have a look at the facts and stats of Colossus and see what my predictions are for its future replacements. So Colossus first opened back on the 22nd of March 2002. It's a 10 inversion Rev A model. Um, so basically this is the same one as the 10 inversion roller coaster at Chime Long Paradise. Uh, this has a length of 2,788.7 feet, a height of 98.4 feet, a speed of 44.7 miles per hour, and a duration of 1 minute 32, with a capacity of 1,300 riders per hour, and of course manufactured, as we know, by Intamin. Um, so yeah, overall Colossus, the power of 10 is a wonderful attraction, and trust me, it's not one to miss when you're at the park. So on your screen right now, Fandabidozi, is the Google Maps image of the Colossus site. You can see it's absolutely massive. You can see the neighbouring uh, Darren Brown's Ghost Train walking down the ride. And Storm Surge is neighbouring as well. I didn't circle those rides, uh, but I'm going to mention them and sort of the surroundings as part of my predictions in this video. Uh, so first of all then, the RMC Raptor. Now we're not talking the low capacity uh, prototype. We're talking the Jersey Devil layouts and beyond. And I've got a bit of a theory with this one. I think I've got a bit of an idea. What about a 10 looping single rail coaster? Wouldn't that be amazing? And it would give an RMC to the UK. It's a bit optimistic, isn't it? But it can't not be done. It can't. Um, and the second prediction I've got is a B&M dive coaster. So let's start first of all by talking about the first of the two predictions. An RMC 10 looping single rail coaster. Um, so of course there are loads of single rail coasters out there. Um, there is obviously, you know, Railblazer at California's Great America, Wonder One Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. They're the two main prototypes. You've got plenty more coming in the future. Stump Pilot at Silverwood. There was one that was going to go to Kentucky Kingdom. That's been shelved. Jersey Devil at Six Flags Great Adventure. Six Flags Magic Mountain is getting one. 2021, 2022, that kind of mark. So stay tuned for more updates on that one. Um, but there's loads of these, um, you know... Uh, RMC single rail coasters, whether it's prototypes, whether it's extended layouts or custom layouts, they all get them here and bow everywhere. And, you know, I think it would finally bring an RMC to the UK. That's one, the, that's one of the biggest discussions in the UK theme park enthusiast group. Um, basically, it is, um, would an RMC come to the UK and when uh, would an RMC... Um, come to the UK and to be honest with you I really want to see an RMC come to the UK I think Thought Park's one of the best shouts uh, especially with Raptor Track especially with a custom Raptor Track with 10 loops to pay homage to the original Colossus um, I think it'd be really good maybe not even RMC maybe you get Intamin in use the same res uh, the supports as Colossus and bring in the single rail track to retrack the original Colossus track you never know it could be Intamin's version of the conversions um, so, I really do think that either Intamin or RMC would be amazing. And I think that the hot race would be great. I mean, imagine if you had a lift hill and a launch. I mean, depending on what they do with the layout, if they did, the, if they sort of kept, um, you know, parts of the layout, whether it's like a co one of the Cobra, the Cobra, the corkscrew, the big loop, you know, after the drop down from the lift hill, you know, maybe they'll keep that in. Definitely, I'd keep the barrel rolls because I think single rail RMC or single rail Intamin or not, I think the barrel rolls need to be kept in. 100%. Um, I think that this would be an incredible addition to the layout. Um, and, you know, I think overall, I think that a single rail would be perfect for Thought Park, especially if you use the capacity problem with other parks uh, to their advantage. You know, more trains... Bigger pack capacity per train, um, you know, not the the one seater cars. Maybe if you get two people per car, uh, kind of trains and sort of more cars on the train uh, and more trains as well, like two or three trains even. Um, so you know, there's many other ways to improve the capacity. There's many other ways to just um, you know improve all of that. And I think overall, you're looking at this and thinking, well, hang on a minute, this will be probably the most 
um, thrilling uh, of the of of the RMC single rails. Uh, <laughs> um, but I think overall, I mean, I really love the Intamin Hot Racer concepts, first of all, with the RMC included as well. I think RMC do some really good stuff with the Raptor tracks, uh, but Intamin are doing some really good stuff with the Hot Racer concepts. Obviously, we've got the, the Big Dipper coming to Luna Park in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia in 2021 uh, as part of their brand new investments. Of course, that's opening alongside um, a Gersla Shuttle Family Coaster and also uh, a single helix kiddie coaster um so you know we've got these intermin sort of hot races going about uh of course the rmc single rail is the the sort of track with the most experience should we say in uh <laughs> in uh, in the coaster world uh rmc's definitely got the experience of these single rail coasters however that doesn't exclude the fact that Intamin could come in and replace the colossus track with the single rail hot racer track uh, so i think overall I really wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see um, Intamin go in this rather than RMC, but I think a single rail coaster would be a great replacement for Colossus. It would make use, especially with Intamin coming in, uh, to use the old uh, support structure uh, and just spruce them up a bit and uh, utilize the, the potential of the single rail track from Intamin. But RMC could come in and rip the entire thing off and just come in and completely change the whole thing uh, and bring in that RMC goodness completely. Um, so the RMC single rail or the Intamin Hot Racer, both single rail coasters, would be brilliant additions to Thorpe Park on the Colossus site. Now the second prediction I've got, of course, is the Bolgram Mabiar Dive Coaster. Now the Bolgram Mabiar Dive Coaster is a wonderful addition. Um, I think if it is going to be dive, it will be a uh, custom layout. Uh, I think it'll have similarities to Oblivion at Alton Towers and the fact that I think it'll pay homage to Colossus with the turn during the drop. But I think that maybe with this dive coast they'll go with uh, the turnaround of Oblivion at Alton Towers or they'll go with like a little dipping curve into a bit of a bunny hill, into a break run before you get that sort of hanging stall break uh, where you hang over the top for three to five seconds before plummeting down. And then I think you'll get that massive loop. Maybe maybe they break the record for the world's tallest loop. Probably not. <laughs> but, you know, I think a nice big loop over that bridge just like uh, Colossus did after the lift hill and the drop, uh, the first drop, should we say. Um, pay homage to Colossus in that way. Again, with the dive coaster elements, will they pay homage and include all the barrel rolls again? Especially the one at the end after that last turn uh, into the station. Uh, maybe, who knows. Um, but I think overall, I think the dive coast would be really good potential as well. Now, I did speak a lot about the RMCs and the single rails from Intamin as well. Uh, now, in terms of dive coasters, I mean, you've got to look at competition. And this has been one of the main patterns and themes without this video. Look at the competition Look at what you're up against in that category of dive coaster and uh, what can you do differently. Baron 1898 at F-Telling. It's brilliant in terms of theming. Uh, there's dive coaster at Chimelon Paradise, diving coaster at Happy Valley, diving machine G5 at uh, Jan Fasun at Fancy World, Draken at Jeongju World, Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego, Flying Aspras in Western Region at Happy Valley, Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Craig at Heidi Park, Oblivion at Alton Towers, Oblivion the Black Hole at Gardaland, Sheikra at Busch Gardens Tampa, Valkyria at Leesburg, Valraven at Cedar Point, and Yukon Striker at Canada's Wonderland. So only one of them is under construction, and that is, of course, at SeaWorld San Diego with Emperor. Um... And overall, the dive coaster competition is massive. You know, in terms of layouts, you can get a custom layout 100%. It would not be a clone of anything else. Um, and overall, I would say that the only real competition in terms of theming would be Baron 1898. Um, and overall, I would really say that they've got a good, decent shot at pulling off a great homage to Colossus in the form of a dive coaster. Uh, and bring some of that Lost City theme back into it. I think there's a real opportunity for Merlin Magic Making to work with the uh, with B and M to create a theme for this ride that brings the Lost City aspect back into that area and brings it into that section of the park again, and really get a nice storyline going with the Lost City theme and utilize that. You know, maybe redo the 
uh, Colossus soundtrack in a bit of a way. You know, redo it a little bit and sort of theme it and uh, get Ima score in to remix it a little bit and bring that Lost City aspect into it. So, in terms of theming and other stuff off the ride, there's real potential. Um, and it's it's real potential, you know. There's, there's honestly real, you know, there's a real sense of creative potential with this. And... I feel like if Thought Park do this justice, I reckon you've got a really good ride there. So overall, mate, I'm I'm honestly I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you. Dive coaster, single rail, there's so much potential with that Colossus plot of land. And I think the possibilities are endless, and that's just my honest opinions on all of this overall. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That, my friends, is all about Colossus. Um, like I said, Dive Coaster, Single Rail by RMC or Intimate, it does not matter. They're the two main predictions I'm going with. Thought Park could easily get a Dive Coaster. They could easily get a Single Rail with the biggest capacity on any of the Single Rails around the world, whether it's RMC or Intamin. And, you know, I think overall, I think the Colossus Eye has so much potential, so much creative spark that could ooze out of it, like you're opening a a bottle of Ribena and it fizzes out, you know? <laughs> um, there's so much potential with this and I really do think that Thought Park could be onto a winner here because uh, Colossus, you know, it's been through the years and, you know, with the 10 loop opening at Flamingo Land now in this year as well, uh, you know, it provides extra competition on top of Colossus. It's constantly going down the rankings. Give it 5, 10, 15 years and Colossus will be off the parks list in my opinion. Um, but I think, like I said, the creative spark oozes out of this site and I think there's a real Lost City theme here that could be played with through a single rail via RMC or Intamin or a B&M dive coaster. Um, if I had to pick a bonus option, I'd go for a Taran style multi-launch, something different to stealth. Uh, but I think overall, I think it'd be between the dive coaster and the single rail. But comment down below in the comment section your predictions as well. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos all throughout the next few weeks. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thought-tastic day.